Hey guys, this is Jason Matthew from Trinidad and Tobago and today we're going to be answering the question, what is an integer? So there's a group of videos that I've created on this channel for integers. The first one being what are positive and negative numbers. So you should look at that video first before you, you look at this one. And today, what is an integer? And other videos you should be looking at would be what is an absolute value of a number, addition and subtraction of integers, multiplication and division of integers, exponent, and then the final video in this group would be order of operations. So please check out all these videos. Integers can be positive or negative numbers. So like you have examples here negative 400 positive 11 positive 726,000 and we could go on an infinite number of examples for integers in fact the best way to remember what an integer is is just to think of a number line and the numbers on that number line will all be integers all right now what kind of numbers you won't see on the number line well, you won't see fractions, you won't see decimals, and you won't see percentages. So just remember that. Integers are not fractions, decimals, or percentages. So let's see if you understood what integers are. We have some numbers there, and out of those numbers, I want you to identify which one or ones are integers. So you know that symbol, if you've been following my videos, means that you, you, you try to figure out the answer for yourself by pausing the video, go work it out, and then press play to see what the answer is. So I'll be right here waiting, guys. Go try figuring it out. All right, so you should have chosen 100, or positive 100, I should say, and negative 24. These those numbers are integers. Two hundred point two that has a decimal part, so that's not an integer. Three quarters is a fraction, so that's not an integer. And fifty percent is a percentage, so that is not an integer. Last thing I want to teach you all is opposite numbers. So here we have a typical number line, and we have 0 as a reference point. And to the right of 0, we have positive 1. Now think of the opposite number as its evil twin brother. And the evil twin brother of positive 1 will be negative 1. Now the other thing you should know about opposite numbers is that they will have the same distance from 0. So if you look at your distance um, or from 0 to positive 1, you'll see it's the same distance as 0 to negative 1, just in the opposite direction. Now if we extend the number line and we now put positive 2 and positive 3, but then the evil twin brother of positive 2 will be negative 2, and the evil twin brother of positive 3 will be negative 3 and once again the distance will be the same from 0 so if you watch there you should see that the distance from 0 to positive 2 so that will be this arrow here is the same distance from 0 to negative 2 and likewise the distance from 0 to positive 3 is the same distance from 0 to negative 3. So they'll, they'll be the same distance but in opposite directions. Now 0 is neither a positive nor a negative integer. All right? So the opposite of 0 is 0. The sum of a number and its opposite, or you could to say it in a fancy way, the additive inverse is equal to zero. So just remember that when you add a number 
to its opposite, you get zero. So for instance, let's look at these examples here. We have negative seven plus positive seven. So therefore we are adding a number and its opposite, we get zero. In this example, it's positive five plus its opposite, negative five, and that is equal to zero. And that will, that will hold for any number and its opposite if you add them together. So for instance, in this example, the final one, we have negative 4,234 plus positive 4,234. So that is opposite. And when you add its opposite, you're going to get zero once again. So that's remember that the sum of a number and its opposite will always equal to zero. There are many different number types. Some of them you might know, some might be familiar right now because this is just an introduction video. But there are counting numbers, there are whole numbers, and today you saw what integers are. There are rational numbers, and if there are rational numbers, that means there are irrational numbers. But that's, that doesn't mean that these numbers are crazy or anything. There are real numbers, and then there are imaginary numbers. And a heads up, it has nothing to do with the imagination. In fact, um, if you become an electrical engineer, you're going to be using a lot of imaginary numbers. Um, it's used a lot in um, when you're dealing with electricity and electronics and so on. And then there are complex numbers. So please, you know, do some extra reading. See how these numbers, what they have in similarity and so on. So for instance, all integers are real numbers but not all real numbers are integers so go and check what that check out what that means you know you could also look at the history of numbers you know things that we take for granted um now wasn't so um in the past like for instance zero the number zero that came along after a while you know you should, you should go and check it out all right so please like, comment, and subscribe on the channel. And thanks for viewing, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.